What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Trucking Journey. I'm Trucker Jim, and I am coming to you from the South Carolina Welcome Center on 26, right here at the North Carolina border. And I picked up at Ingalls in Blacks Mountain a little bit ago, and you know that always goes to Beach Island, South Carolina, which is basically Augusta. But I, I stopped here to you know take a just a quick little bathroom break. When I looked at the delivery window, well. It was Monday. So I called dispatch and, you know, told them what the delivery date was. And they said, well, that's cool. You can, you know, deliver it early. As long as you're there by 11. It, if they're open, you can deliver it. Because it's a trailer full of pallets. But they close from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. So any time that they're open, you can deliver it. So in other words, it's not urgent. There wasn't any kind of pre-plan on me. So I said, hey. I just want to stop at the Greer Yard, hop in my Chevy, and go home and call you in the morning, you know, to either, you know, get started and deliver this load and have something after that or have the the option to do like most people do and just take the freaking weekend off and, you know, come back in Monday morning, which that's what I want to balance out to. I just took, you know, like nine days off already, so I hadn't been working too much. And uh, I just started Thursday and here it is Saturday. With all that being said, let's truck it on to the house. Chevy there wasn't any kind of terminal video to show you guys I was getting in and out of that mug as quick as I can taking it to the house but before I go to the house nine round is open until three o'clock the, the Pelham Road location is anyway the Simpsonville location which is the one closest to the house but I don't like it as much it closes at noon but this one's open to three that we're headed to now so what that means is today i will most certainly get my 30 minutes of intense exercise in which this will be the third time this week that i have achieved the goal of 30 minutes of intense exercise and you can do it however you like today i choose to do kickboxing Last time I chose to go run around the neighborhood. But it's important to do, especially for you truck drivers. I mean, it's important for us all. Even dogs need exercise. We were not built to spend our life in chairs. I just need to change out of these truck driver clothes into my exercise gear. That's right. So let's grab the gloves and go inside. If you walk through this door, you're going to get a great workout and it's only going to take 30 minutes. You put gloves on starting with round three. There's always a trainer led round. It was round four today, but in several of the rounds, you have your gloves, you're punching and kicking. They're changing the exercises up every single time I go in. So it's never, ever, ever boring. Man, what a workout. But the way nine rounds works for starters is total body kickboxing and it's 30 minutes and it's very very freaking intense my heart rate got up well i'll have to look at the email that i just got uh because i get a like a report of the calories burned and my heart level and all, all of that stuff I, i'll show it to you
but each round, which is nine, it's three minutes long, like in boxing, and you go to the bell. And there's a bell when there's 30 seconds left, so you can uh, push on through and end strong. But I love it, but it is my first one of the year, and now it's time to take it to the house. So I made it home. I guess it's time to wrap up this video. But I'd kind of be a dick if I didn't let Boone say hey to you guys, right? Boone. What's happening, buddy? Yeah, it's so good to see you, Boone. It's so good to see you. But now it's time to say goodbye. This is just a quick little video that is filmed, edited 100% on the iPhone. Uh, hope you guys liked it. You know a little more about Nine Round now. Um, but, you know, I have a house. Like I'm in the studio now. And ever since I moved in here, I really like being here. But Boone and I love this place. Don't we, Booney? We do. We didn't get to hang out at all when I lived in a truck for the last three years. But this living room, this is where the PlayStation is, where I'm able to play my, my video game, which the only one I've really gotten into so far is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. But it's awesome. There's a kitchen table, which I haven't used this a whole lot yet, but I really love the idea of it. A kitchen with all the things a kitchen needs, like a sink. That's one thing I never had in the truck, was a kitchen sink. But a stove and microwave and fridge and freezer. Another TV that, you know, sports or movies can be watched on. And a grill. And I can gas it, charcoal it, smoke it, whatever. And with the new NFI G&P thing, I think a work schedule that's favor favorable for me to do all the other things I love doing besides driving a truck. We just landed a big account with Lowe's, which we've been doing a lot for Lowe's, but we're gonna be doing even more Lowe's cause now we have the one in Greenville, South Carolina, which is pretty much the same area as Greer, South Carolina, and Simpsonville, South Carolina, where the house is. And all of those are, are live unloads. You know, it's like regular deliveries to, to Lowe's stores that their delivery times are only from 7 a.m. to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So that could de develop into something that's a pretty awesome type of schedule. I don't know all the details yet of it, but that sounds all right for a while. There's a Lowe's DC in Adairsville, Georgia, Statesville, North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina, Garysburg, North Carolina, and I don't know if there's a new one coming to Greenville or exactly what the deal is on that. But all of that is totally day trippable. And talking to dispatch, it's going to be a get started early in the morning, you know, around four o'clock, something like that. And you're probably done by three. That's a pretty great schedule. And it's very complimentary to me spending more time right here in my studio and with my dog and near my gym. And, and have a kitchen. Those things are becoming more and more important to me. And well, being out on the road in a truck for days and days and days at a time, really, really interfere with that. But here's another big reason. In order for me to accomplish my big, big goal, 
I need to become a better speaker in front of people than I currently am. <laughs> and and one of the ways that I'm going to exercise that ability to develop to get better at it is to do open mics here at the Greenville, South Carolina area. There's there's several around. Uh, one is in downtown Greenville. Monday night at seven o'clock is is mine. That's the one I intend to start with. Coffee Underground. Hey, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Um, but I'm either gonna hit the road tomorrow. Or Monday. I haven't. All decided. of this is a work in progress, guys. I do not have all the answers today, but I do appreciate all of you checking in on me to see how the journey's going. But I will be hitting the road either in the morning, tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know, Monday morning at, at the latest. I'll, I'll get out of here and, and get on the road. But when I do leave, whatever time that may be, in the morning, Monday morning, Sunday night, I'm probably going to leave this here. It stays in the studio, but I can take my phone and it does a pretty decent job of communicating with you guys. I, I know the audio and is different and the music's definitely different and you don't have cool text and things popping up. But one of the reasons I've been doing more just cell phone videos is as time goes on, when I do those, I can give little tips because I know a lot of you would probably like to share part of your journey, whether it's on YouTube or with your family or friends, but the you know, editing software and cameras and everything that's available to us today, they're pretty awesome. You need like a movie studio to do this kind of stuff, you know, 30 years ago, but now you can, you've got it in your pocket. But I've got some things I need to do while I'm home, but I will see you all in the next video. But until next time, be safe out there and keep on trucking.